Hi, this is Paul Stewart from Desert Air. I'm here today to talk about some of our smaller units. So specifically, I want to speak to our LC series and our LV series. The LC series is available from 1 to 15 tons, and uh, the LV series is available from 3 to 8 tons. These units are primarily used for our small pool applications. Hotels, high-end resi high residential homes with indoor pools, uh, therapy pools, uh, and those sort of applications. So uh, as far as the electrical goes on these units, both units are available in single phase, 208 or 230. They're also available in three phase power from 208, 230, 460, or 575 for the Canadian market. Uh, both units are R410A refrigerant. And uh, when we talk about the cabinet, uh, we'll talk about uh, a galvanile cabinet, which is powder coat paint and that offers us two levels of corrosion protection on the cabinet itself. Galvanil is a gr very good material and powder coat actually adheres to that very well. Uh, the LC unit is actually an 18 gauge cabinet whereas the LV unit is a 20 gauge cabinet. As far as the controls, you'll see that we've got the same controller in both units and this controller has, uh, it's a direct digital controller with onboard display. There's also a remote display that can be added as an option. Uh, these units have onboard internet connection to our AirGuard tool. So you'll be able to, if you hook it up to the internet, you'll be able to see uh, how that unit's operating uh, anywhere that you have internet connection and you have login credentials. Um, the controller will actually pick up discharge pressure, suction pressure, temperature and humidity from the space. It's also going to uh, tell you superheat and subcooling, and I'm sure there's a few other options there that you'll be able to see on that controller. Um, the, both units can, can accommodate either a wall mount temperature humidity sensor in the space, or we can do our integrated return air sensor with a temperature humidity element in the, the intake of the unit. Additionally, this unit can also measure the differential pressure across the reheat coil to allow us to see whether this unit's moving the right airflow. Uh, we accomplish that by putting a differential pressure transmitter across the reheat coil. All of the airflow has to move through that reheat coil and with that differential pressure reading we know whether that unit is at its ideal um, designed airflow or not. I think lastly I'll talk about uh, filters. Uh, you can see the filters on this unit both these units are included with four inch return air filters. So really anything that's commercially available, we use MERV 8 as our standard for the return air for this product. Um, but certainly you can add a MERV 13 if, some, if your heart desires it. A um, little more expensive filter, but those are commercially available. The outdoor air on the LC can also be filtered. Uh, this unit here we're looking at does not have an outdoor air intake. It's available with it as an option. And if you add the outdoor air assembly, you're going to get an outdoor air filter. Uh, and that filter will be a one inch filter or it can be a reusable um, metal mesh filter. So that's the overview of the LC and the LV. So now we'll take a closer look at each unit so you can see some of the specific features dedicated to each one of these products. Okay, so let's take a closer look inside the LC unit here. So let's remove the first panel door. And you'll see here's our closed cell foam insulation adhered to the, uh, to the cabinet wall. Um, again, non-water absorbing, fire rated. Uh, it does have a microbial coating on it as well for any sort of uh, mold or microbe growth prevention. So inside this cabinet, if you understand, we're pulling air. The return air is coming back through the unit. It's hitting our evaporator coil. We do have our bypass damper, which does allow us not to move all the air through the evaporator coil, not necessary in this application. So that is actually modulated based upon the differential pressure across this evaporator coil. We're trying to maintain a constant pressure through that evaporator coil uh, for constant volume of airflow. You'll also see in here the full-sized hot gas reheat coil. Again, we've got differential pressure across that reheat coil, which is going to give us our total airflow through the unit. As I move on through, um, you're going to see a TXV here, and um, obviously those pickup tubes and a few other uh, sensors and such. We go to the next section. 
In here you've got your receiver, your compressor is in there as well, but you're also going to see uh, pickups for, um, if you wanted to hook up pressure gauges, a filter dryer, our uh, pressure sensors are in there, and then you've got the you know, nice pipe runs coming out of our CNC uh, pipe bending machine. Um, so that's really it. Uh, obviously the blower is tucked in there. There is another service side to this unit on the back side. We do recommend three feet of service access on this side of the unit and on the other side for the LCs. Okay, we got the doors off the LV uh, series and let's take a closer look. Obviously our airflow is coming in from the return here. Uh, we also have an outdoor air intake on this unit right above the return air intake. That outdoor air is dumping the air between the reheat coil and the evaporator coil, which is the preferred method for pool dehumidification. Um, so our air goes through our, our evaporator coil first. You'll see that. We do have that full-sized hot gas reheat coil uh, with coil separation uh, downstream of the evaporator. You can see our pickup tubes. We've got a pickup tube here and pickup tube here. That's going to measure the reheat coil differential pressure, which we can then convert to CFM to make sure that the unit's running at the proper airflow. We have a pickup tube here, the same one here as here, and we're going to measure the differential across the evaporator coil, and we're going to use that to adjust that um, bypass damper to make sure that we're getting the proper airflow through the evaporator coil. Down in the lower section, you'll see um, obviously our compressor, we've got our receiver, you've got our pressure transducers, uh, you've also got some of our solenoids, and um, really just some clean piping in here as well that's coming off of our CNC pipe bender. So uh, that's pretty much this view. We'll rotate the unit and we'll take another look. Okay, so now you can get a better picture of uh, the blower assembly. Uh, it is a belted system at this point on the LV. We are looking to, to maybe move towards some ECs as those products become more commercially available in the smaller sizes. Um, but this can be available in a top discharge or a horizontal discharge on the LV. Down in the lower cabinet section, you see that receiver over on the left. Obviously the compressor tucked in here. Uh, plenty of room to do some work, filter dryers and so forth. So uh, nice, nice unit to work on. It is a two-sided service access on the LV series as opposed to that LC, which did need kind of a uh, primary side and a secondary side for service access. Okay, the last item I want to point out on the LV series is our electric heat option. Um, this is our auxiliary heater option, and it's going to be uh, mounted to, a, it's going to be close coupled mounted to the discharge of the unit. So up here on the top, since this is a top discharge unit, we have our close coupled electric heater for this particular unit. Again, if we're going to do a uh, horizontal discharge, we would have that electric heater close coupled to the discharge on the horizontal discharge. There are two model sizes on all of our LC and LV units for electric heat. There's a low heat and then a high heat version. So uh, take a look at those. We also always recommend some form of auxiliary heat in the pool room uh, because we only have hot gas reheat available when the compressor is running doing dehumidification. So that pretty much covers our LV. If you have any questions, certainly give us a call. So just to summarize, the LC and the LV series are used for our small pool applications, as well as any of our general dehumidification applications uh, where we can get the right moisture removal capacity out of the unit. Uh, we've got some, a nice cabinet configuration. We've got good refrigeration. We've got a lot of nice features inside that controller. And uh, quite honestly, I think we build a great product. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to call us, get a hold of your local sales rep, or contact Desert Air directly and we'll help you find the right unit for your application. Thanks for watching.